And we're talking about the lamest way you got injured based on this mom who yeah. broke both her ankles on TikTok. Uh, Eric, can you call our boss Cruz? Because this might not surprise you guys, uh, Riley and Rose, but uh, if I told you that our boss Cruz once broke both his, both his arms by falling downstairs, would you be surprised? No, not, not really. Mm-hmm. No. I love me some crews, but he's he's definitely a rare bird. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We want to hear your stories. 877-995-4681. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Thanks. Hey, so how is Gaithersburg today, the gateway of Germantown? Uh, it's quiet, which is good. Yeah, that's uh, that's about right. If, yeah. if something's going down in Gaithersburg, I think the world's coming to an end. <laughs> True. <laughs> Be honest. Uh, Sarah, so what's the lamest way you got injured? Uh, during a epic game of beer pong where the girls dominated, um, I went in for a victory hug and my friend went in for a victory high five. No. And he knocked my, knocked my jaw out of place. And it's, it's, oh. How? Oh, I mean, wow. A victory high five with that much force. It must have been a huge victory. Seriously. Was that like a I drunk mean, we, slip or something? Um. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure things out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I get that. But basically, I mean, it was worth it. We were, I'm assuming, if I remember correctly, we were falling behind and we. Uh, is a comeback, and, truly. And Come yeah. back. There you go. I mean, honestly, Sarah, I think once ESPN's done with the uh, the Chicago Bulls special, the comeback in Gaithersburg of the beer pong, I think, is next on the list. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, but I shouldn't play though. No, I think, oh. I, think <laughs> I think you retire now with the separated jaw, okay? Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Have a great day. Thank That's you so much brutal. for calling in, Sarah. No problem. Thank you. Hey, uh, Nadine. Hey. <laughs> so you sprained both your ankles doing what? I was standing on the steps in front of my house looking for a package. Uh, and oh, th- th- that's it. <laughs> that my, my, my right ankle gave out suddenly for no apparent reason, and I fell over onto mm. my left ankle onto a garbage can lid. Oh, oh my goodness! And that sounds I painful. In, I was in physical therapy for three months. Oh my goodness! Well, oh wow. my gosh! Was it a good package, at least that we were waiting for. Was it even there? Probably my dog's bark box. Oh, well, that case. Well, <laughs> uh, it was I worth understand. It. Um, but I, uh, I went to work that night, and they were like, you're an idiot, and they sent me home. <laughs> yeah, that's probably oh a good thing that they did. I can imagine. Uh, Nadine, thank you so much oh. for calling. Next time, be careful, okay? I'll try. <laughs> Have a great day. Uh, good morning, Cruz. Hello there. Oh, hi. How, how is Canton? Hi. Hello. Uh, how is what this morning? How is Canton this morning? Is it lovely? You know, it's a little overcast, a little wet from the rain overnight, but besides that, it, it is beautiful. So, uh, Cruz is our boss, and a little behind the scenes of Cruz. Cruz's dad is named Murray Feldman. If you are uh, from the Detroit area, Murray is a legendary broadcaster. So, imagine my surprise when I tweeted out the other day, like, hey, the lamest way you get hurt, I get a tweet from the Murray Feldman. I'm like, oh, I need to check this right away. Come mm-hmm. to find out, Cruz, you broke both your arms. How, dude? So uh, I was probably I was probably in middle school at the time, and uh, I, I was at my grandmother's house, and I was playing around on her steps that kind of led into her basement, and I was doing some kind of game where I would jump from the top of the steps and try to like hold on to the landing, uh, you know, below, and she had just had the carpets cleaned, and so as I jumped on and tried to hold on, uh, the carpets no. were slick, and I flew right off. And then I landed on my arms, you know, basically <gasps> fell backwards down a flight of stairs, oh. landed on my arms, broke seven bones. <gasps> and Cruz! Then, yeah. The, the best part was I, I, like, crawl up the stairs, and I yeah. go to my dad, and I go, hey, I, I think I'm hurt. And he goes, oh, you think? Eh. <laughs> eh. It'll be fine. Let's eh. see how it is in the morning. <laughs> <gasps> oh my Jeez. god! Oh my, that's oh, fine. Oh man, you're, you're wow, Cruz. You are truly a gift. Hey, you have a blessed day, man. Yeah, thank Enjoy you. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks for calling, man. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> oh my like god, that is. That's, I, I feel bad. Like that's obviously horrible. But no, you don't. Yeah. I, you're right. It, it's funny because it's like a friend, <laughs> but also that's such a dad thing where the kid's got two broken arms. Ah. 
We'll see how it is It's tomorrow. fine. We'll yeah, see. well, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Growing fine. pains. Uh, it's R- fine. Riley, you mentioned your lamest injury involved heels and your teeth. Six inches, by the way. Like, I used to be more of a stiletto girl than a sneaker freak like I am now. Okay. And I was out in New Orleans for the first time, and I wanted to look my best. And people kept telling me, no, there's going to be cobblestone. You're going to fall. It's like, I got this. I was a ballerina. I can do this. I can balance. No. Ten, first 10 minutes out there on the cobblestone, and like, Mm-mm-mm-mm. cracked. Like, my jaw split as it hit the cobblestone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. All, all for fashion, y'all. Well, that as hurts. As, as, as long as it's got picks beforehand, that's all that matters. That hurts. Duh. I did, though. Okay, I looked yeah, fabulous. Well, pff, then it's fine. <laughs> uh, Rose, you said your dad got hurt with the lame way, too. Yeah, my dad broke his foot pumping gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know how like the gas pump has a little step. So yeah. he stepped up on yeah. it, and I don't know how he stepped on it, but when he stepped on it, he broke his foot. Oh god! So we say he broke his foot pumping gas. <laughs> I mean, I think the the one that guy. comes to mind for me it was more so like I don't know if an injury is the right word, but in high school. I played football, and I remember I was washing, like, my, like, underarmored, like, pants, Ooh. like, the underwear before yeah. the game. And so I was out yeah. of practice. I put them in the wash. A couple minutes later, put them in the dryer, so on and so forth. During the game, my, like, that area, my crotchal area starts to foam up, and it starts to burn, and it burns like no burn I've ever felt, nor do I want to feel again in that area. And it was, like, sudsy. And I realized, Ew. like, what I had done was, like, I put the stuff in the wash. I put the detergent in the wash. Never started the washing machine. Like, never oh, no. Started. And then you put it in the dryer? Correct. So mm. I came back. And, like, <gasps> it felt moist because it had been, like, it was sweaty. Put in the dryer. You're like, yeah, this makes sense. Let me tell you. It, you talk about exfoliating in, like, a chemical. Oh. <laughs> I, Dad. like, listen. Oh. I, okay. I remember I was in the shower, like washing myself for like an hour. My mom's calling me, Ugh. thinking I'm dead. I'm like, I might as well be because this is like the worst pain. <laughs> and then I had a date the next day, and the seniors were no. making fun of me. They saw me walking up like they were riding a horse, and they asked me what my burn situation was. And that's not a fun thing to explain. To oh the first date. no. Okay, yeah. Oh my, my. crash is burning, but <laughs> what do you think? I just anyway. imagine you running down the field with like bubbles behind you. No. <laughs> I'm trying to clean up. Don't touch me. I'm fragile. Oh, Lord have mercy.